Hi everybody, Neil Kravitz here. Hope you're enjoying these daily clinical pearls. It's early Saturday morning. I'm about to head to the office, but I received a great question last night about what to do if you're in a consultation and the patient displays unrealistic treatment expectations. So I'm gonna to try to answer this question from both the patient's and the doctor's perspective. So the biggest rule that I always tell doctors is you'll never regret the patient that you did not start, okay? So I think that's really critical to remember. But I also want you to remember that a patient's feelings are very valid. So they may be coming into the consultation with a lot of anxiety. They may be told all of a sudden that they need orthodontics and they were not expecting it. They may be really anxious about the cost of treatment or the appearance of braces. They may be worried about the thing that they know needs to be done, whether it's extractions or orthognathic surgery. Um, they may have had to drag their adolescent to the appointment who may have been kicking and screaming the entire way because they do not want orthodontic treatment. So just like you are in your rights to not treat the patient if you don't feel comfortable, they are within their rights to be treated the way they want to be treated. And I think first and foremost, just use the consultation to teach and say, listen, I know you don't want extractions um, for your child because you had extractions, but that's probably the reason we do need extractions because we have so much crowding here in the absence of extractions, the teeth will be pushed out of bone. Or I know you don't want an expander because you had an expander, but in the absence of an expander, I can't fix this crossbite. So what I like to tell patients is why I'm recommending what I'm recommending. I think that's important. But there's also the beauty of therapeutic treatment. You could also just say, listen, okay, we can start six months without the expander and we'll try just arch wire expansion. But we need to make the agreement here today that if in six months we still have a posterior crossbite, that we add the expander because we want to fix the bite. And that's the therapeutic approach where we start the way the patient wants. It's a little bit of a compromise, but after six months, you take new records. And if it's not going the way you want it, you a refocus treatment, uh, perhaps with extractions or with an appliance, and there's nothing wrong with that. So don't talk around the issue. Don't just increase your fees. Don't be dismissive. Don't say this patient's crazy. Um, patients have uh, anxieties, and that anxiety will be expressed a lot of different ways. But also be very honest. Just talk to people and just say, listen, I, I know you want this, but I don't think you need this. A lot of times patients with unreal treatment expectations have great smiles and great teeth and just simply do not need orthodontic treatment. Um, but I think both parties are within their right to not start treatment if they don't feel comfortable. You don't have to follow a treatment plan that you don't feel comfortable doing and they don't have to be treated a way they don't feel comfortable being treated. And then I think that's the purpose of a consultation. It's that everybody needs to be on the same page on day one. And if there's a gray area where you think you can maybe do a little bit of therapeutic treatment and see if their approach works, that's fine. But I tell them we have to agree that if it's not working well, that we go back to my original treatment plan. So I think number one, be empathetic be understanding of their feelings. And number two, it's certainly okay if you don't start the case. I hope you enjoyed this clinical pro. Let me know what you do when you are in a consultation with a patient who displays unrealistic treatment expectations. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to this page. Thank you for supporting the JCO.